So this was the driver's side mount and it still has life in it. Sure, I could reuse this again, but I'm not. And then here we got the passenger side and this is wobbly as heck. start working on my car right now so I got the engine bay uh, pretty much I'm trying to cover it all up because I want to clean up the engine bay from pretty much with my automatic transmission cool line exploded and start having everything sprayed all over the place so pretty much having that like give it like a wash down I wiped it down before but I just parked it I was like sick of dealing with this stuff but I think I'm gonna go ahead and replace valve cover it's brand new pretty much no leaks or nothing but just while I'm here have it all apart access to all the screws easily I'm just gonna go ahead and um replace it I'm not sure which one I'm gonna get yet I believe they got like the M18 no M16 no M18 one and the VTT one those are the only two I've seen I'm not too sure which one I'm gonna go with yet so who knows so gonna do some upgrades over on this end and yeah I'm just gonna clean up a lot of stuff especially from now that I know at least my car could take single turbo status and I need to go ahead and replace the engine mounts on the engine mount side I'm not sure which way I'm gonna go with it because I'm thinking I'm just gonna get the IS the IS 235 IS mount for this side and just get another OEM one because for this side over here for the, this one over here is pretty much still good but the one over here is like trash, it's really compressed. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do that because not any, I'm not really sold on any of the current offerings they have out right now. Uh, I don't like, was it too much noise and rattling and all that stuff. So I guess I shouldn't even be worried about that, especially since it's this car. I think my current goal with it is just to go ahead and have uh, 600 wheel, nothing too serious on this build. So just gonna go ahead and spray this thing down and yeah, clean this whole engine bay up. Not sure if anybody know about this one, but a friend of mine's Puerto Rico told me about this stuff right here. And he showed me how it worked and yo, this thing makes everything looks like brand new. So I'm gonna go ahead and this is stuff I'm gonna use. I put it in a bottle, spray it down by a little, little bit because this thing is powerful. Hello? Hello? Who is this? So this is the engine bay and I pretty much started cleaning up a lot of stuff on here. Um, engine bay, I sprayed it down, I washed it, hence why you see a lot of these uh, plastic bags and everything's like covered a bit. So everything is pretty nice and shiny and clean. So the one thing I was going to do was go ahead and start relocating this also. So when I initially had my single turbo kit, I didn't relocate it. I like, you know what, let me just see how it fits and if I need to actually relocate it or not. And it's held up pretty good, still works, no cracks or nothing like that. I just wrapped this up to here and over here blocks out all the rest of the heat. So the main reason I didn't want to go ahead and relocate it is because usually when you relocate it, you put it all the way over here and make it come up here. But I didn't like the idea of like filling it up with uh, windshield washer fluid or any kind of fluid. And so close to the ECU because I don't want water in the ECU. So that was one of my things. And I do like to have my windshield washer fluid filled up because I don't want no lights on my dashboard. It's just me. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and relocate it and just be super careful with how I pretty much fill it up. So with the single kit out the way, it's like easy access to go ahead and grab the top bolts for here on the passenger side. So I'm gonna loosen those. And then over down in here, way down there, you can go ahead and see the other top bolt for the passenger side mount. So I'm just gonna take those off. And then underneath the car, there will be another two sets like this here and here on that side. And take those off and I should be able to lift the motor up a little bit and wiggle it right out. So I got these bolts out right here uh, for the mount. And I'm also gonna take off this support bracket on the bottom. So I had to take off this tray piece here to access the rear bolt here. And there's another one here. And I already went ahead and went around and went to the other side. There's another bolt here and like two more on that side. 
so it's loose and the reason why i'm taking it off is just to access one of the bolts at the back or the mount on the other side so one of the mount bolts can't be accessed unless we move this out of the way so also since my car had the automatic transmission cooler line that leaked everywhere i still got a lot of stuff i still got to clean off so this was one of the pieces that i need to clean off from back then so yeah i must take it off clean it up i already got the top side of the motor and everything cleaned up so it's just now for the bottom so this is a good time to go ahead and do it they're gonna go ahead and spray it down a bit and get this grime off of it so let it sit into it until come back in like a few minutes and get the holes onto it and scrub it down when it's done it'll be clean as heck So I was running away from having to take off the motor mount bracket. So I just wanted to see if I could squeeze it out from the bottom, but I can't. So yeah, I have the motor mount loose, but there's no way I could get it out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just take off the charge pipe. I took that off already. And I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, take the bolts off for it. So it'd be like four bolts, I believe it is. So I'm just gonna take those off, move that out of the way, and I should be able to just pull the mount right up and reinstall a new one. At least the rain got to it before I was able to go ahead and wash it off. So, well, free water. But I got the mount off. So that's all out the way. And got the old one out. And about to drop the new one in. So yeah, it's a lot more work that I remembered having to go ahead and do this since it's the first time I've pretty much worked on anything mechanical in a while. But while I have all this stuff out the way, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can go ahead and uh, clean up some wires and stuff. So I think I'm also gonna try to replace this uh, charge pipe and yeah, we'll see what else needs to be cleaned up or tucked away or replaced. But yeah, I'm just gonna go over everything. So this was a driver's side mount and it still has life in it. Sure, I could reuse this again, but I'm not. And then here we got the passenger side and this is wobbly as heck. So it started to rain and I just wrapped up putting on the mounts. I got the mounts in. I didn't tighten them down fully yet, the top ones, because I just want to make them sit overnight. So tomorrow I'm just going to go ahead and tighten the top down and continue pretty much replacing, cleaning up, and trying to get this thing back on the road. So I'll uh, see y'all in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, see y'all in the next video.